Hey everybody, welcome back to the McPhee Ford YouTube channel. We have something extremely special for you today. That is the biggest, the loudest, the most powerful Mustang ever built, guys. And that is, of course, this beautiful 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. Now just a reminder guys, before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're gonna keep posting crazy content like this, guys. We wanna, it really helps us if you guys like, comment, and subscribe, helps YouTube algorithm and all that kind of stuff. So let's get right into it. So guys, we're just gonna give you a brief little overview of what the GT500 is first before we get into the video. So the Shelby GT500 is the ultimate Mustang from that generation. So what that means is in 2014 and 2013, they had the 662 horsepower, Mustang supercharged 5.4 V8, that thing was a monster, but uh, Ford definitely upped their game this time with the uh, latest generation of the Mustang. This is the final model. Uh, they're gonna be replacing it shortly and they come out with the GT500 every model year. So this has the 760 horsepower, supercharged V8, 5.2 liters, uh, same engine pretty well as the Shelby GT350. Uh, it's a flat plane crank V8. This one, if you want a manual transmission in a Shelby, uh, you can't have a GT500. This has the Tremec seven speed dual clutch transmission which shifts just as fast as your PDK for your Porsches, your Lamborghini, your Ferraris, everything like that. This thing is an absolute rocket ship. And sending all of that 760 horsepower is going to the rear wheels. So this thing will run a 10.6 uh, quarter mile time, zero to 60, mid three seconds. And that's, you know, you think zero to 60, mid three seconds for 760 horsepower, that seems pretty low. Porsches and stuff, they can do it in the low twos. Well, this is traction limited. This is rear wheel drive, guys. You're putting down, you know, 760 horsepower. It's way, way too much to actually put down on the street. But we're going to get into some of the features. We're going to show you guys a full in-depth tour of this. Now, just keep in mind, guys, uh, this is a customer's vehicle. So there is plastic on the inside. We can't remove that. The window sticker is still on it. We can't take it for a drive. This thing is getting delivered here in the next couple of days. So we're going to go and we're going to show you guys some of the features, the everything that makes this Mustang the greatest Mustang of all time. Starting with the front, guys, one of the craziest details about the GT500 is its carbon fiber performance package. Now, that's your $25,000 option. $25,000 is crazy, but this car is $140,000. So, you know, just throw the options to it, right? This has the carbon fiber wheels. Now, a lot of wheels, they might look like they're carbon fiber, you know, wrapped in vinyl, whatever. Now, these are actually carbon fiber wheels. And with the tires on them, these weigh absolutely nothing. So it helps keep the center of gravity nice and low, doesn't add any unsprung weight to the car. You know, if you're throwing it around a track, if you're driving down the drag strip and like that, you're not losing any power or lap times from the unsprung weight from the wheels. So this is, these tire, these wheels, the carbon fiber wheels are wrapped in Michelin Pilot Super Sport Cup 2s. Uh, you have your two, 305 section tires in the front and your 315 size tires in the back. You have your 20 inch tires front and back. And like I mentioned earlier, guys, this is the $25,000 option but it doesn't just come with the wheels. You also got the carbon fiber spoiler. This thing is huge. You know, it's the biggest spoiler put on any Mustang ever. Um, we took it out of the vehicle, but it does have a carbon fiber front splitter. Uh, we can show you guys a picture of that, what it looks like on the Mustang here in the video. So guys, moving away from the carbon fiber wheels and the carbon fiber package, we're gonna get into the heart of this beast. This is the 5.2 liter Predator V8, supercharger of course, 760 horsepower. So we're gonna pop the hood, just as easy as the little pull of the handle here in the middle. Pop the engine. And now this has hood pins. Pretty cool, right? So the hood pins, you pop them down on each side, releases the hood, you grab the latch, and underneath the hood, like I mentioned guys, is the 5.2 liter Predator V8. Now this is built by hand by one guy, uh, shout out to Ronald, working at the Romeo engine plant in Romeo, Michigan. Uh, these guys build one engine at a time, they put them in the cars, they send the car out, they build one engine, so on and so forth. Kind of like Mercedes does with, the, uh, with their AMG packages, the one man, one engine. He sees it all the way through. So this guy built the engine by hand for this car specifically. They're all a little bit different engines. Some have a little bit more, more power, a little bit less power, but they're all right around the 760 horsepower range. So again, guys, shout out to Ronald Michigan. You're the real MVP putting this bad boy engine in this bad boy Mustang. So let's pop the hood down again and we'll get into some more of the features of the Mustang. 
So guys, moving away from the engine, we're going to do a startup here a little later on, but moving away from that, uh, we're going to talk about some of the overall styling of the Mustang itself, the GT500, uh, and what separates it from the regular Mustangs and the, the, the regular Shelby GT350s, right? Um, so you have the wide open grill here um, for added cooling. You know, you want to you feed as much air to that supercharger as possible, because those superchargers take about 100 horsepower worth of engine power to actually spin it. So this engine, let's say it's making right around 800 and something horsepower with the engine. Uh, your 760 horsepower with the supercharger. So this engine actually has to make more power than it theoretically makes just to spin that big blower. So you, on, the, on either side of the, uh, below the fog lights, you have your oil cooler, your transmission cooler. You know, these, these things run hot. You're running them on the track all day long. These things are gonna get hot. So Ford had to put extra cooling in for the supercharger and the oil for the engine. Um, Coming around the side, you know, on the front you have the big Shelby grill, the GT500. Uh, this thing has no Ford emblems anywhere, aside from in the center caps for the wheels. It's pretty focused on Shelby. So it's on the seats, it's on the steering wheel, on the front, on the rear, and especially on the sides here, guys. You have those really cool Cobra snakes that's synonymous with Shelby, right? You know exactly what you're looking at when you see these things. And with walking to the back, there's one thing that we can't miss. That is your monstrous Brembo brakes. Now these aren't carbon ceramics but they're semi-ceramic. So what that means is they're pretty much carbon ceramic brakes, but instead of having the, you know, the $30,000, $40,000 replacement cost of brakes, Ford trying to, wanted to keep kind of the, keep the cost down for ownerships. And um, regular steel brakes with carbon ceramic pads. Um, these will not fade on the racetrack. They're designed to be abused and keep with the brake feel. So, you know, you're doing lap after lap after lap of whatever track you're racing on. Uh, these will stop the car every single time without any sort of brake feed. And then obviously guys, we're gonna finish on the exterior with the back. Uh, like I mentioned earlier guys, you have this massive carbon fiber wing. Now this is for the carbon fiber performance package. Uh, if you want just a regular GT500, well, regular GT500, you can get it with the low rise wing, you can get it with no wing. It's pretty much up to you what kind of package you wanna get. Um, you have your massive quad tipped exhaust. Uh, we're going to get into that a little bit later. This has the selectable exhaust mode, so you know you have your normal mode, which is loud, uh, your loud mode, which is ridiculous. We're going to get into a cold start here. Um, and then you have your quiet mode. You don't want to drive your neighbors nuts first thing in the morning. You're heading off to the racetrack, the drag strip, going for a nice spirited cruise. Um, you're not going to drive anybody nuts there. So, and as you can tell, if you stand back a little bit, you can actually see how much wider this is than a regular Mustang. You know, you have your flared fenders, both front and back. Uh, that's kind of Ford Performance's thing. They, you know, they stretch, they stretch out a regular vehicle to fit big boy tires underneath. Like, like I mentioned, guys, 315 millimeter section tires in the back, 305s in the front, uh, Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. So let's get onto the interior, and we're going to show you guys kind of some of the features that go into the interior. Mind you, uh, we have the plastics on the seat. Um, they are the Recaros. Uh, with the performance pack, so the manual Recaros, you can spec them with the leather seats, uh, with the heated and cooled seats, climate control, whatever. But this one doesn't have it. This one's uh, focused for the track. Um, we'll post a picture of what the seats actually look like because you guys aren't going to be able to tell with the plastics on them. So let's hop inside. Okay, guys, so coming on to the interior of the uh, 2020 GT500, uh, this is pretty much laid out just like any other Mustang. If you've ever driven a Mustang, um, you'll definitely be uh, familiar with the controls. You know, you have your steering wheel controls, um, your settings for the dampers and the steering uh, s stiffness and so on. You have your Cobra mode, we'll get into that in just a little later on. You have your toggle switches down here, where normally it's like your traction control, your four ways, your steering and your drive modes. This one has traction control off, your exhaust mode. We're gonna cycle through those a little bit later on here. And of course your drive mode selector. So we have normal drive mode, sport, track, drag strip and slippery. Now. The camera won't pick this up, but every time you change the driving mode, uh, the fully customizable screen actually changes to show you guys what's important and what, um, what needs to be seen. So if you're on the drag strip, your RPMs are important. If you're on the track, your RPMs are important. If you're on the street driving in normal mode or slippery, uh, it's just going to be like your speedometer, your tachometer, just tr a traditional uh, setup. And if you look there closely, guys, the speedometer goes up to 360 kilometers an hour. So that's higher than any Mustang ever. Um, it won't actually go 360 kilometers an hour, but it'll get closer. It'll go 200 miles an hour, so uh, whatever the uh, translation is there, 334 miles an hour or 334 kilometers an hour or something like that. Obviously not for uh, street use, but if you find a wide open runway or something like that, you guys can definitely bring this up to VMAX and it's uh, 
they get along pretty good. With 760 horsepower, you'd expect so, right? Now, behind the steering wheel, uh, similar to the Ford Raptor, uh, you have these aluminum, beautiful aluminum shift paddles. Uh, these control the seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. Um, this thing shifts faster than anybody can think, faster than you can blink, faster than anything, right? Uh, it's a dual-clutch, it shifts gears like boom, 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 just fires them off. Uh, you don't lose any time in the shift, you don't lose any boost, you don't need to lose any speed. The gear's already pre-selected for you, it's pre-loaded, so you just pull the paddle, and this thing just keeps on freight training down the road. Um, in the center console here, similar to what Ford's been doing with their automatic transmissions, um, they have the spinner mode here for you know your park reverse neutral drive manual in the middle um, and then of course guys there's the engine start stop button so let's uh, let's start that up and we're gonna go cycle through the exhaust modes Alright guys, so moving on to uh, the My Mode, um, it's the Shelby button on the steering wheel. Uh, it's your configurable driving mode. So let's say you want to have the car in soft suspension mode, but your transmission in full aggressive, full attack mode, same with your exhaust, you can definitely do that. So what you do is you go in through the screen here, My Mode, uh, you go, I went one too far. You have all your track apps, you know, your lap timers, your launch control, acceleration timer, brake performance. Performance uh, shift indicator, so this is your shift light. Uh, you can set that to whichever one you want. You can set your gauges to whichever gauge you want to show on the screen, and so on. You can set your exhaust mode to whatever exhaust mode you want. Cluster appearance, you can set it as your favorite, or you can have it change with driving mode, and so on. This Ford's kind of way of making it very customizable for you guys. And then if you want to access that while you're on the road, uh, you just hit the Shelby button, and it comes up. So. Um, we're going to move on a little bit from that. Uh, we're kind of going to give this video a little bit of a wrap up here. Uh, just kind of things we didn't go over. Uh, with the carbon fiber package, um, you have your carbon fiber on the console here, on the door panels, um, kind of carbon fiber all over the interior. You're spending $25,000 on the package. Ford, Ford gives you, Ford's liberal with the, uh, with the carbon fiber. And one of the things that um, no other Mustang has, aside from the Shelby GT350R, uh, and that is, of course, no rear back seats, no rear seats. So if you look look in the back there, this is a proper two-seater. Uh, this is the this is with the performance package. Uh, if you spec the regular GT500, uh, if you can even call it regular, uh, they do come with back seats. Um, so this is this the performance package one with the track package is a strict two-seater uh, street car um, built for the racetrack, built for the drag strip, built to annihilate everything. Um, you know, again, with your 760 horsepower, the highest highest performance V8 Ford has ever created, um, and it's one of the most powerful V8s on the market. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video on the 2020 GT500. Now, it's been an absolute pleasure getting to review this, guys. Uh, with McPhee Ford being the only Shelby dealership in the Maritimes, this is number two in the Maritimes. Uh, the previous one has already been sold to a private collection, and this is on its way to its uh, new home shortly. Um, the 2020 models are all sold out. Uh, we're taking orders for the 2021s. If you want to pre-order a 2021 GT500 in any specification you want, uh, link below. Uh, you guys can give us a call, so on like that. Um, but that's going to do it, guys. Remember, 760 horsepower, 10-second uh, quarter mile, 300-plus kilometer an hour top speed, carbon fiber wheels, dual-clutch transmission, and all of that power going to the rear wheels, guys. This thing will slide around. This thing will do burnouts, donuts. This thing will do pretty much anything you want it to do, all while looking amazing. And as you guys heard from the exhaust, this thing sounds crazy. Too bad we couldn't give it a little rev or anything like that. You know, it's going to a new customer, so we want to keep everything nice and clean for them. So, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in our next video. Peace out.